Overall, close to 1.4 million people are living with HIV in Kenya, including 100,000 pregnant women. And without any form of clinical interventions, these mothers pass on the HIV virus to their unborn or even born bundles of joy, currently estimated at 45,000 babies. This can occur either during pregnancy, labor and delivery, or after the child is born during breastfeeding. 60% of infections occur either during pregnancy or during, uh, during delivery. And 40% of infections occur after the child is born through breastfeeding. Most of these infections occur mainly in Nyanza and the Rift Valley, areas considered to have the highest numbers of HIV infections, though not exclusively. At the Ndiwa Hospital in Homa Bay, we caught up with Maureen Akoth, her 11-month-old baby in tow. Her baby is HIV negative and healthy, though she had tested positive at the time of conception. She shares with us her tips on how she ensured that her baby stays negative. Nikasa mtoto, alafu mtoto pia akapimwa. Bila alipimwa mtoto hakupata mtoto kama kana ugonjwa. According to a counselor at the hospital, this is possible if one follows to the letter instructions given to her by her doctor. To reduce mother to child transmission of HIV, the mother should take antiretroviral drugs during pregnancy, labor and delivery. This will help slow down the reproduction of the virus. Also during labor, ensure that your child is delivered safely by a professional and preferably at a health center. Once the baby is born, they should be given prophylactic treatment within 72 hours after birth. Mothers are also encouraged to exclusively breastfeed their babies for a year. Once the baby stops breastfeeding, they should continue with the prophylaxis for six weeks. The water has some minerals in it, and the minerals it's a bit salty. Now it, the, the child will develop some bruises in the mouth. Since the child is still young, the, the skin is soft, she will develop some bruises. And whenever there is a hole, there is a lot of entries for HIV to, wear, to enter. Currently, there are initiatives to eliminate mother-to-child transmissions. Among them is the simple yet revolutionary mother-to-baby pack. The pack combines highly efficient ARVs and prophylactic antibiotics for one pregnant woman and her newborn child from 14 weeks of gestation until six weeks after delivery. It encourages easier storage, distribution and management of prevention of mother-to-child transmissions medications while reducing the chance of pharmaceutical shortage in clinics and it's convenient particularly for women in remote areas since they can administer the drugs at home. Yeye ni mgonjwa na ameogopa kusika mimba. Na nilimwambia unaweza kusika mimba na mtoto asipate ugonjwa. Akakubali hata siku hiyo iko na mimba hata yeye. The government and other stakeholders are sensitizing parents in a campaign dubbed Kata Shauri to Linde Uzazi, one of the efforts aimed at reducing mother-to-child transmissions by 2013 in Nyanza and Rift Valley provinces where about half of all Kenyan children with HIV live and by 2015 in the whole country. She less than Citizen Weekend.